Okay, Salam Alaikum and a very good morning. Okay, we are going to continue with the second part of power divider, which is the Wilkinson power divider. Okay, as discussed in the previous video, uh, we have looked at the T junction and also the resistive power divider. However, both of the designs suffer from um, the disadvantage or limitation on the matching. Uh, as the T junction cannot be all parts cannot be matched simultaneously, while it has been improved by using resistive power divider, but uh, there is another problem with resistive power divider in which uh, the isolation is not that good. Therefore, a Wilkinson power divider has been introduced in order to improve further uh, the in terms of matching and also the isolation. Okay, this is how the Wilkinson power divider looks like. Okay, the figures show the layout and the equivalent circuit for the Wilkinson power divider. So there's a two lambda O4 transmission line or transformer is on introduced between the uh, port one, the first transmission line or the input transmission line to the output port two and port three. So this is port 3 and also port 2. So there's uh, additional of lambda over 2 elements being included in parallel to uh, the, the, uh, to the um, T junction design. So each of these uh, lambda over transformer having the impedance of set 2 of Z0. Okay, if you still remember that in, in transformer design, lambda O4 transformer design, okay, when you have, this is the lambda O4, so the characteristic impedance of the transformer is equal to Z1 equal to Z in Z0 square root. So this is Z in and also Z0. Okay, so in this case, the characteristic impedance for the first transmission line here is equal to Z0 as the input characteristic impedance multiplied by 2Z0 is the load impedance. So 2Z0 square root. So this is equal to set to Z0 okay so and each of this line is each of this transformer is connected to another resistor with the value of 2 Z0 okay the function of this resistor is to uh, dissipate the power the reflected power appears at port 2 and port 3 Okay, and also it provides uh, isolation, better isolation between port 2 and port 3. Okay, for the two transformers, it helps to improve the matching, uh, impedance matching between the input port and the output ports. Okay, for a match two-way power divider or Wilkinson power divider, if you have equivalent input being divided into port 2 and port 3 and it is in, uh, equivalent in amplitude also in and in phase so it is a match power divider on the other hand if you have equivalent amplitude and in phase signals fed to port 2 and port 3 and the output appears at port 1 so the power divider um, uh, the, the design is actually representing a power combiner okay while a, resist a resistor this resistor that connecting the two ports port 2 and port 3 basically improve the impedance matching and also provides better is isolation between the two ports and the s parameter or the scattering metric for the uh, wilkinson power divider is given as follows so in this case it is a three port networks so your s11 for match condition so s11 equal to s22 equal to s33 
equal to zero. And as the system provides better uh, perfect isolation in which the port two uh, is completely isolated from port three and the other way around. So the S23 and also the S32 equal to zero. Okay, and the rest S12, S21, S12, S13, S21 and so on are equal to negative T divided by cert 2 Okay, uh, and these values, the parameter uh, we can get the parameter for S12, S13, S21, etc. by using event and odd mode analysis. Uh, that I'll show uh, all of you in the next slide. Right, in theory, uh, typical bandwidth for Wilkinson power divider is 1.44 to, uh, to 1. And for the SWR, VSWR is between 1.22 and also the isolation of 20 dB. Okay, the even and even and odd mode analysis is used to uh, analyze the S parameter for the Wilkinson power divider in which uh, the uh, input port uh, can be uh, represented by equivalent circuit. So the system is added by two lambda over two lambda lambda over four transformers, with each of these having the impedance uh, set to Z naught to get it matched to the uh, input and output ports, and the resistor are having uh, the value of two Z naught to get the system match and provide better isolation. All right, so the Equivalent circuit for this uh, Wilkinson power divider is shown on the right hand side in which uh, the superposition uh, technique is, in, is used uh, so that the circuit can be seen as symmetrical uh, in the x axis as shown by the blue dot blue dash line. Alright, so uh, in the even mode, so we are assuming that the port 2 and port 3 being excited by a voltage of Vs. So for even mode, both source of Vs, positive Vs. So when the both polarity are the same, so that there's no potential difference in between the these two parts, therefore the line here appears as open circuit same goes to this point okay for odd mode so the polarity of the port 2 and port 3 is different so here for example is positive vs and the bottom one is negative vs so there's a potential potential different so the uh, connection in the middle appears as a short circuit Okay, short circuit. So then the system will be analyzed further to, to get the uh, Z in at port 2, port 3, and etc. until you get the uh, complete S parameter. So the total uh, derivation or the complete derivation for the even and odd mode is shown uh, in here. So you can just read through or follow the processes involved in order to get the complete S matrix or S parameter for the Wilkinson power divider. Okay, in summary, as mentioned earlier, for a Wilkinson power divider, so the scattering matrix based on the even and odd analysis, you get that uh, when the system is matched, so S11 equal to S22 equal to S33 equal to 0, and as uh, the isolation um, is uh, better isolation between port 2 and port 3 therefore S32 and S23 equal to 0 okay and then uh, the input power from port 1 is split equally between two ports in which the k squared equal to 1 this provide 
uh, the uh, power division ratio between the two ports, port 3 and port 2. Okay, if you uh, convert this into polar, the value is around 0 0.707 or it is equal to uh, negative 3 dB, the 3 dB power divided in which the power from the input port being divided equally to the two output ports, port 2 and port 3. Okay, as in the earlier slides, uh, we have seen that the uh, Wilkinson power divider acts as equal power divider in which uh, the input port at uh, the power at the input port will be split to uh, equally uh, into port 2 and port 3. However, Wilkinson power divider can also be used for unequal splits of power, so in which the input power from port 1 will be split into two output ports with the ratio of k squared in which if it is unequal splits so the k2 squared at k squared is equal to the ratio between p3 to p2 is not equal to 1 if it is equal split so p3 divided by p2 equal to 1 Okay, so all transmission line sections in the divider are lambda over 4 in length and the characteristic impedance of the line section Z2 and Z3 can be calculated by using the following equation and the resistor that connecting between the port 2 and port 3 can also be calculated by using this equation in which is dependent on the K uh, the, uh, the K is the power division ratio. Okay, in summary, for Wilkinson power divider, for the S metric, if the system is matched, so the S11 equal to S22 equal to S33 will be 0. And in the case of uh, the normalized impedance, Z in at port 1 equal to 1, so because Z in here, it is equal to Z0 divided by Z0 equal to 1. So in terms of the uh, forward and reverse transmission, so S12 and S21 is equal to negative T divided by Z2 or it is equal to 0 0.707. And S13 and S31 also, same value. And for short and open circuit with iso uh, and perfect isolation s23 and s32 equal to zero okay, this figure shows uh, a design of hybrid white pan Wilkinson power divider uh, operated in between 90 megahertz to 270 megahertz and it is hybrid because it can be used as the power divider or power combiner so in which you can see here there's a resistor which connected at a port the two ports okay to provide matching better matching and also isolation and the port having the impedance the line impedance of 50 ohm. Okay, let's look at an example. Design an equal split. Okay, when it is equal split, the, the k squared ratio equal to 1. Power divided for a 50 ohm system impedance at a frequency of F0. Okay, so by uh, definitions, if you want to, uh, to produce a match an equal split Wilkinson power divider so we need to know the impedance of the lambda over 4 lines and also the R value the resistor of the lines so for the um, match impedance uh, the Z will be equal to Z2 Z0 and the R will be equal to 2 Z0 so in this case Z0 is given as 50 ohm Right, so for a perfect match, uh, Wilkinson power divider, so Z not given as 50 ohm, 
and then so in order to design the uh, Wilkinson power divider so we have two parallel uh, transformer lambda O4 transformer so in which each of the element having uh, the impedance for each element of lambda O4 equal to cert to Z0 so it is equal to cert to of multiplied by 50 okay while the R the resistor R equal to 2 Z0 equal to 2 times 50 ohm with that thank you